Okay, we have here finding the equation of a circle given the ends of a diameter which has the coordinates negative 3, 8 and 2, negative 2. So I'm going to show the relationship of this for us to identify the equation of the circle is of course there you have the diagram given here a circle okay and this circle is of course uh, it has a diameter and of course the coordinates of this diameter okay once we divide it into two equal parts there uh, you could identify the midpoint or the center and of course this is now our radius so for us to determine the equation of the circle let's identify first your coordinates of your center okay so how is that we have here now our midpoint formula okay so from our midpoint formula x sub 1 plus x sub 2 plus, uh, divided by 2 and from our given of course this is a matter of substitution to 2 plus negative 3 so 2 plus negative 3 all over 2 is simply we have what negative 1 half okay so that is the value of your x Okay, afterwards, you are going to solve for the value of your y for the coordinates of your uh, midpoint is simply negative 2 plus 8. So, negative 2 plus 8 all over 2 which is 6 over 2 or simply it's 3. So, this is now our value of our y which is 3. So, these coordinates now of your midpoint which is negative 1 half and 3, this becomes now your center of your circle so again negative one half and three is the, the coordinates of your center so out of our diagram a while ago this midpoint now becomes the center of our circle so we could now solve for the length of your radius from this center to this end of the diameter or from this center to this end of this diameter either of the two but i'm going to choose okay i'm going to choose now our length uh, for the length of the radius to solve for the distance formula using the center and of course uh, this coordinate of your radius which is 2 negative 2 so I'll substitute from the given formula we have uh, we have negative 1 half negative 1 half minus 2 okay then square it plus okay we have y sub 1 is 3 then negative times negative is positive 2 square it okay and then of course simplifying it further negative one half minus two is simply it's um, five halves okay five halves square plus three plus two square is five square okay simplifying it further five halves square is said to be 25 over four okay plus five square is said to be 25 so 25 over 4 plus 25 is said to be 125 over 4. This is now our R. The length of your radius is said to be square root of 125 over 4 units. Okay, are we going to simplify in decimal form? I guess not anymore. We are going to use this one, square root of 125 over 4. After that, we are now ready to solve for our standard form okay so our standard form is x minus h quantity square plus y minus k quantity square equals r square given the center from our midpoint a while ago it's negative one half and three and from our radius a while ago again it's square root of 125 over four so it's just a matter of substitution it substituting from our formula x our value of h is negative negative one half it becomes positive one half then square it then your y negative then positive is negative 3 then square it our r is square root of 125 over 4 then of course this is to be squared from our formula r squared we all know that once we squared a radical sign automatically it will be cancelled out so if you simplify it further x plus one, uh, one half quantity square plus y minus 3 quantity square is said to be 125 over 4 this is now our equation for our given situation or condition which is our diameter okay so again the equation of the circle given the ends of the diameter